Welcome to another episode of the Healing Chronic Illness Summit. Today we have another guest from Germany and it's Bernd. Maybe you know him already. Welcome, Bernd. Hi, Eva. Thank you very much. And so nice thank you so you. much for having me. Yes, it's such an honor. It's an honor for me. I think you have come quite a long journey in your healing so far and yeah you also made some really good improvements in your healing journey can you tell us a little bit more about how it all started out for you because sure. i know you have ms sure and um my, as my mother had ms and also my grandmother i had like quite a good picture of what um, is ahead of me and I also had very clear from the very first moment that um, this will be up to me to solve because I knew that medical um, uh, science and the medical system, the traditional medical system, does not have a solution yet. And so um, at this point, I was looking for a nutrition school because I had the strong feeling from the very first beginning that it's all rooted in nutrition. And so I wanted to study at the best school uh, there is worldwide and I was looking for a good school found some at IIN this is where Munisa famous Munisa also studied and I was so happy afterwards um, because it took me some years to find medical medium afterwards and when looking back I was so happy that I choose this school because I think there is not uh, not at all another school out there which is um, so non-dogmatic dogmatic as this school they um, show you like one approach and then the opposite and they leave it up to you to choose to decide which is uh, the truth and so they don't um, it's like um, like it should be with children you don't there's the saying famous saying you don't should tell your uh, children um, what to think but to teach them to think and exactly this happened i had the feeling that this happened at the school and so i was so lucky when i found medical medium i did not have to throw over everything um, and um, i was i was um, to i was like educated in the school to question things and that's the same with like medical medium says that you have to do a lot of turnarounds from the traditional thinking and so I think it was perfectly prepared by this school for the medical medium approach, which came later in my life. So cool. So you already started um, eating healthier after your education? Exactly. It's basically, it's, um, and there's the same saying, like medical medium emphasis is that, that there's um, not one person like another person. Every person has like individual levels of toxins and uh, viral load and um, at the school they told you um, as well like there are some principles which um, are true for everybody like every person is different was uh, um, a famous um, basic from the school and also of course um, they told you from the very first beginning no, beginning no matter what approach you follow um, what is important is to up the vegeta vegetable and fruit intake <laughs> and well, so at least that's a good sign yeah <laughs> And so, of course, reduce alcohol, reduce um, smoking and all this toxic stuff. And also they told you, you like reduce dairy. So I was sensible to dairy uh, from the very first beginning when this was like, to me, it was too strange to have a co coincidence. When I had a diagnosis, I had uh, the strong feeling that I do not uh, tolerate dairy anymore. And then I went to, um, to get tested and um, this, the numbers were high like i had a huge lactose intolerance yeah and me too al already this day i thought hmm <laughs> strange coincidence that's like i never had a problem before and then with the diagnosis all of a sudden i had a problem with this and now um with the medical medium and i see it all the time in in my clients as well that um that's in, in fact it's not dairy intolerance it's like you have a high viral load and they love this food the dairy and so you react uh, to it later because um they thrive on 
dairy products and this was like the first aha effect from when reading medical medium out of many that were coming when i began to read the book yes for me too because as soon as i got my diagnosis that i'm lactose intolerant and yeah my doctor told me yeah you can take some lactose pills and you can still drink milk and for me that was never a solution because why should i take a pill to eat something that's not beneficial for my body exactly the same the same with me they told me the same and i decided as well why should i do this i just uh, I guess, uh, yeah, I switch um or how do you say i throw dairy off my diet and that's it and so that that was like um the, the start for me with medical medium was not so hard because um I nearly had all the, the no foods eliminated, like dairy products already years ago. And also I got the impression that grains are not good from the nutrition school as well. Uh, even so they left it open. They had um, also like one um, uh, guest teacher who was very fond of uh, grains and the other was um, opposed to it. And so, but I, for myself, I decided that way um, to, um, ditch all the, the grains out of my diet as well and so there was not so, so much left and I had reduced meat as well uh, from this education I found out that for me that um, I want to lower my meat consumption and so I was eating maybe three times um, uh, a week I was eating meat and so when I started Medical Medium radically, I um, went vegan, and not only vegan, but also raw vegan, <laughs> because the, the very few pages I've read, um, I saw immediately that maybe this would be a good idea for my uh, diagnosis to, um, to keep it out um, completely, the meat. And so what was left, basically, it was left like um, corn, I had to quit corn, but corn is not something you eat on a regular basis normally. So this was not hard. The harder thing was bread. And I gave a bread years ago. This was like a hard uh, change. Uh, switched from the whole family. Got the whole family switched from we had a bread at dinner. And then we shifted to having a huge salad. The whole family. <laughs> wow, you already had your family join in. That, that's good. Yeah. And so we did this for years and then I had the stupid idea. For years I did not eat eggs, also out of this education. But um, I also learned like if something is not working uh, or you don't achieve the changes you want, you have to change something. And so I learned uh, an approach where it was recommended to eat eggs. <laughs> and I fall, fall for this. And it was not that my intuition was not there in that day because I had the feeling I was angry at me um, afterwards because I had already the feeling that they, it's not good, that that's a bad idea. But my mind overruled it like all my uh, youth and mm. childhood. Always my mind decided and overruled the gut feeling. And um, Afterwards, I knew with medical medium, this was a very bit, bad idea and I felt worse. My, my disease rapidly um, in, worsened. And so, um, of course, from that, the very first moment I stopped eating eggs with medical medium, so, um, went raw vegan, eggs out, um, corn out, soy was left as well, soy. And then I had um, also some you know, the artificial flavors and all the stuff, you, you, you screen everything you take in and then you find the things and you <laughs> throw it out. <laughs> and so this was like a huge cleaning process. And alcohol, I did also, I ditched, uh, ditched alcohol as well. Um, never touched a single uh, drop and I loved red wine before, uh, from time to time, not every day. And of course, when I was young, I had my cocktails and stuff. And yeah. so this was gone forever. Not, not even, an, um, how do you say, New Year's Eve, not even uh, champagne, nothing. <laughs> yeah, there's plenty of alternatives right now. Yeah, the mocktail, famous medical media mocktail. <laughs> Absolutely.
So when did you find the medical medium information? It was a funny thing actually because um, I found it. Actually, um, when I got diagnosed, I had a very good doctor and he told me like from the very first beginning it was like conversation eye to eye, not like sometimes you have this, like a doctor tells you, you have to follow what he does. If not, he gets angry. And we, I had always the feeling we took the decisions um, together and he asked me what I wanted to do. So this was a very good relationship. And he told me from the very first beginning, there are signs um, that uh, research and science, there are studies that indicate that uh, the EVV has something, uh, Epstein uh, bar, Epstein bar virus, that it has something to do with um, multiple sclerosis. They are not sure yet what role exactly it plays. Now with medical medium, we know it's the, the root cause. <laughs> besides um, heavy metals and um, so I had this in my mind for years like EBV EBV and so um, when I was uh, doing some research again in the internet um, after some years um, I put uh, again because in the beginning you did, you did not find anything in the internet when searching for EBV and after some years, I did the searches again and again because the internet grew and there were much more information to be found. And then after some years, it popped up like medical medium and EBV and uh, multiple sclerosis, I think I saw as well. And so I put this book on my list uh, of books to read on Amazon. But I had like um, um, <laughs> what do you say? Yeah, a huge list already of books that I bought already. They were here, like one book over another, and that I wanted to read. And so I thought, okay, don't mess up. I read these books first, and then this this book. And it sounded great, and I also wanted to keep like some hope if all the other stuff is not working, <laughs> then I have something good in in store. And then then the people began to to recommend this book to me. Even so, they did not know. Uh, about my diagnosis this day be because um, I kept it a secret. I was ashamed of it. So I kept it secret like for many, many years uh, until uh, I could not hide it anymore. And um, so I, I got like aware, special aware, like there must be something or the universe trying to tell me something because um, one person after another recommended me to read this book without knowing about my diagnosis just telling me that this would be an interesting book and for me they think as well and because um, I, I they knew how i was uh, thinking and in my interests and um, then i decided okay <laughs> all the other books later and this book first <laughs> did you um, ever read the other books afterwards no, <laughs> because they're about nutrition and health as well. And um, after I read this book, I knew I just get messed, uh, messed up, confused when I began to read the other books. And for what? I have all the solutions I need with medical medium. This is like the perfect information I was looking like for seven years. And in fact, I was visualizing th this book because I did not wish for a book um, to solve my problem as I became a health coach, um, certified by IAM, um, I was also looking for an approach, a perfect approach for all the problems of my clients because I had a feeling there, like everybody in, in, um, with chronic Ill illness looking for solutions out there, you have the problem, there are always opposed um, um, approaches. And you don't know what is the truth because should I believe this man or this man? And it's totally opposed, contrary the, the approach. And so I was also wish, this, or wishing, visualizing and wishing for um, the perfect solutions for my, for my clients, for all the health problems. And this book is like all my, my dreams, my visualizations finally came true. And I tried so many approaches uh, out there. I would say nearly everything <laughs> what is out there. And I saw that it, I experienced myself that it was not working. And so for me, it was so, so clear from the very first moment that this is the solution I was looking for. This is the truth, not only for me, but for everybody. And 
my whole world changed. This this was like unbelievable because with this diagnosis, you're so desperate. They tell you it's incurable, and you visualize um, how your life will. I had it. It was not difficult for me to visualize how yeah. it will be because I had it um, before my eyes. My whole childhood, I saw how, how my mother was declining with her health. And so it was not difficult for me to imagine how, um, what will happen to me. And so, of course, you, the psychological effect was very uh, strong at the beginning. Even so, I was, I was like, um, physically, I was like perfect in the beginning or nearly perfect. And it declined, my health declined uh, very slowly in the beginning. And then it turned, it began to decline um, more rapidly. But I got stronger psychologically or emotionally. And when I had this book in my, in my hand, everything changed because I knew this is the truth. And it will just be a matter of time until um, um, I, I get better. And um, so I only had to learn to be patient, <laughs> which yeah, I did definitely do. Yeah. <laughs> being because patient and sticking to it so being patient and sticking to it yes exactly that's what i what i what i would uh, say or uh, tell everybody out there which is like the most important things be patient and um, being consistent not giving up and you know what to do with the medical medium you know how to do it and it's just a, a matter of time, I would say. No matter in which situation you are, which diagnosis you have. And of course, if you have a lot of toxins, that, that, uh, that's what I learned with the time and how I finally got more patient because I could understand when a medical medium tells us no one single person has the same toxic load like another a person. And as well, um, you cannot expect to heal as fast or as quickly as another person does because you don't know how um, their toxic load is, their uh, viral load is, and how the, the organs are, the, the body functions. Maybe um, some system has more damage than uh, the system of another person. Of course, the immune system, which uh, plays a cru crucial role in this as well. And so it's of no use, no use to compare yourself to the progress of, of others. Absolutely. And I think a lot of people um, disregard it and they keep on pushing their body way too hard in the beginning, maybe. So that's yes. rather, rather, yeah, not beneficial. Uh, yeah. Good point. Good point. I did, I did exactly the same. I think a lot of people do this. I started the journey with, um, I jumped in 100% with the 28-day um, clan. And um, like I told you, um, out of, um, I put out the alcohol, the, the no foods, all of a sudden. And normally it's better you do it um, step by step. So you give the body time to adjust. And because the detox, of course, is very harsh when you um, keep out the no foods all of a sudden and do so drastically it changes i did like not totally keto but it was like keto oriented what i did before medical medium so it was not so harsh but kind of harsh i did not have a lot of fat like for the keto i was low fat i would say but in general of course it was still um high fat um, or medium high fat and so jumping from this approach to no fat at all was too harsh and of course all my body functions which were very um very um restricted at that time as well so i struggled for three weeks i was like feeling ill like with the flu and um but i did not have the the fear that uh, there's something wrong with my medical medium or stuff like that I just had in mind I have to go through this. And then the fourth week I, I was well and even feeling better. And this was the good thing because what normally happens when people panic, then um, they begin to doubt medical medium and stuff like that. And that's where a lot of adrenaline kicks in and then um, you worsen. 
and then you like in a very negative spiral and then it's really dangerous so for me in the end it was not so dangerous but maybe i would not do it again and um, of course i would not advise people to do this to to do this to start um, this harsh absolutely i did it the same way too <laughs> unfortunately <laughs> i went raw vegan from one day to another like so, me yeah so so can you tell us a little bit about how far you've come so far because i also know that you started eating no fats a long time ago already yeah. yes um i luckily i later knew that you have to heal your adrenals first maybe not heal 100 percent, but maybe 70 or 80 percent that would be a good start um, and why is that, that so important um because um if to detox, I learned with uh, Monisa in her wonderful courses that when you, uh, there's also a, a special course, Adrenal Reset, it's called. And we had like five or six weeks, um, just this topic, adrenals, adrenals, adrenals. And so there you get to know that what, for detoxing one part of toxin, you need two parts of adrenaline. And so if your adrenals are like weakened, then, and you, um, you uh, the body calls for more adrenaline from from the adrenals and they are already like overwhelmed then um it's overwhelming for the whole system and you cannot handle the detox well and i did not knew it that exactly at this moment but i had the feeling i i when i read medical media i got somehow i got the feeling that healing the adrenals or caring at least for your adrenals is crucial at the beginning very important so i diligently did my adrenal snacks <laughs> and um, like years ago I started a lot of approaches mental approaches I'm an NLP master as well and um, so I um, was well aware of uh, when I slipped into traps like victimhood or which uh, which is very adrenalizing and um, also my humor i was aware that um i was all also i was keeping myself in a positive um, attitude and a positive um, energy and that helped a lot i think to not slip into the traps of getting uh, frustrated a lot or being stuck in negative emotions which is very adrenalizing as well and so i think that's why i could progress very much in this area and then i was ready for going fat free because this is like a important um how do you say a condition of um how do you say I don't find the word right now it's, it's like a requisite or how do you say it's something you need to have before you can do the requirement, the 28. requirement. thank you yes <laughs> <laughs> and so out of the gut feeling like i i realized that and later on i learned with the mind what all the reasons why uh, this is so important and so i this is also why i had never a problem with going fat free i think so i did not eat a lot of fat in the past as well was not so so fond of fat and also like I got to a point after 10 months, I started to go totally fat free until now. I'm now at the end of the month, this will be 21 months of medical medium. Congratulations. And thank you. <laughs> <laughs> and 11 month, month is fat free in total. Wow. And this is where I felt that I made the most progress. You can listen to the radio show on uh, SoundCloud in the internet for free medical medium and there he talks a lot about the benefits of the 28 day cleanse or even going fat free as a um, lifestyle and yeah i started out with of course i had like an uh, ebv we know <laughs> was ebv and the heavy metals of course that's why the heavy metal detox smoothie is so important on a daily basis and then um, i also had uh, shingles like i knew from um, I had visible shingles and um, at first before medical medium I got to the doctor dermatologist and he told me that you have to cut it out and then I had like surgery 
they cut it out and they told me it's in a lot of cases uh, it reoccurs and so it's not so easy and they wanted to um, how do you say prescribe me a drug um, against it and then they, they they said like maybe with this drug um, it's possible that it disappears completely and um, I told them uh, as I read um, but maybe this is not a good idea for people that are immu um, have problems with immune system and then they uh, consulted like the computer and said right <laughs> and so I could not they could not give the, the drug to me but uh, Eventually, I had to find out and tell them, <laughs> and uh, so um, it reoccurred, of course, after like but one year, or I don't know, then uh, I had another surgery plan scheduled, but this time in hospital, and they used laser, and um, I also told it, it was the clinic director which told me to take this drug as well, and I had the experience um, of that I should not take it, and I told him, um they told me to take it like one year before and then um, we found out that th this was not a good idea for people with um, problems with the moon system because it's very strong and um, he had no hesitations and said no no take it anyway i took it and i was like with the flu i was so sick i was not so sick in my whole life i was in the in bed i could not move i was like paralyzed because i now guess it was like very antiviral hitting too much virus at once and i was completely like and i was really afraid to die <laughs> it was so bad i was i had problems um um breathing and all that stuff and i was dizzy and i immediately stopped the medication and um luckily everything went away and that was like before but this was really, really um, threatening. And then it reoccurred not only one year after, just some months, um, and the, um, the surgery was very painful. And like two or three months um, afterwards, after the wounds healed, which was also very um, bothering, it reoccurred. And oh, no. <laughs> I was like upset. <laughs> and so I when I find imagine. medical medium, after three months of medical medium, gone. And it never reoccurred. And it's now like nearly two years. Never had this problem. Visible sh shingles disappeared in three months. And also, I guess internally, the shingles did not disappear this time. And a lot of pain that I had. Some came from EBV, some came from shingles, I think. But also, this was solved in after 15 months of medical medium I, I will never forget that day because Munisa when I was in the course like she saw it um, already and she congratulated me so she and did kind of an energy scanning or yes exactly and from the distance like she she could see it told me and I knew it was true because I was this was the very same day that I was pain free for the first time like after the diagnosis for like at eight must must be like seven eight years that I had uh, pain twenty four seven the whole day. Mm, the pain level was like uh, shifting from stronger to less stronger the whole day, but it was always there. Imagine always there, and then this day after fifteen months of medical medium, it disappeared, and I, I had never um, these uh, pains, nerve pains, which is like my mother always told me when I was a child. This is like the, the worst pain you can have, nerve pains, which is like torturing. And I had it in my spine, the whole spine, and you lose your whole like um, energy and um, your, your pleasure to live and uh, joy of living and all the stuff. And so like this was the day like so much changed for me. And this is why I will always be so grateful to, to medical medium and to, to Manisa as well. I can imagine. Um, yeah, this was like the hugest. But I have more. Um, I have to to not forget anything. I will have a look at my list. What are problems I had? Like um, um, gut um, disturbance, like for sixteen years, which was also very bothering. 
because um, I had loose stools, you can imagine, this having this for 16 years. And um, this disappeared uh, after just uh, three, I think, was it three or four? I have to look. Four months. This disappeared after four months. And the shingles, yes, the shingles uh, disappeared after three months. Then a month later disappeared all the, the gut problems I had, the digestions. And of course, brain fog, I was like, luckily, um, because a lot of my fellow um, um, people that have MS um, are battling uh, brain fog or dealing with brain fog from the very first beginning. And I was so lucky to have it like it occurred in the seventh year, just before I got to know to medical medium. Um, I experienced in this summer, I will never forget, um, for the first time I experienced brain fog and fatigue, it, it hit me like horrible, the heat was there, I had heat sensitivity, horrible heat sensitivity as well, and, but for the first time brain fog and fatigue and I was in bed, I could like concentrate like one hour, two hours a day and I did not want to get up, I spent most of the, I was not bedridden, but I spent a lot of time in bed, like in, in the morning, then in the afternoon I had a huge nap and as well there I didn't want to get up uh, in the afternoon and so basically <laughs> some days I spent in in bed and so then I got to new to medical medium and with the cellular issues after some weeks the brain fog lifted completely but I think this is due to because I just recently um, experienced it and people which have it for a longer time they need of course longer time until it, it disappears I got rid of it like immediately after drinking some weeks, celery juice. And so I knew from the very first beginning, this was like confirmation. I knew it in my mind, in my heart, but this was like a visible confirmation as well. I could feel that it's working. Yes, that's incredible. <laughs> Especially with the brain fog, that's so hard. And yeah, taking a lot of life from us. Yes, because exactly. Because there's not much we can do in a day. Yeah, energy came back, a cl a mental clarity, I could concentrate more. And already there, because medical medium always takes uh, talks about um, getting your life back. And uh, I felt that this was a huge power already, um, that I got my life back when you get your, your mental clarity, concentration back. And then imagine when the pain uh, lifts, which was taking a lot away of my uh, energy as well. It was like already there, I can but say. Did you ever take painkillers to numb the pain or did no. you just go through it? No, I just did go through it because I was, I had the attitude before medical medium already. I think I, the, the times that I took painkillers in my whole life, you can count with one hand. <laughs> And once was when I got taken out the, the I don't know, teeth. Wisdom, sorry? Wisdom teeth. Wisdom teeth, yeah, thank you. Yeah. And um, they took out like um, uh, one side, like four, and then an, an, another surgery, other four. And this was so painful. And even then I decided I do not take it. And then when I was at home, until the pain kicks in after the narcotics, then so it takes some time. And uh, as I noticed, I want to, <laughs> to knock my head against the wall. I knew that uh, maybe this is a good time to take it. <laughs> yeah. That's the only time I took a painkiller too. And I mm -hmm. only got out two in, yeah. on the Amazing. top. And the bottom yeah. ones are still in because they need to be cut out and... As long as they don't bother me, I leave them in. No, I, mine was like, mine was um, underneath the other teeth. And so they told me as well, we had to do, we do, we need a surgery. You cannot take it out like this. And even in surgery, it was like a torture, like um, the doctor cursing, imagine cursing because he was not able to take it out because it was so difficult. And then they were, um, trying in every angle and uh, oh. he was like cursing like damn it's not <laughs> why is this deep not coming out <laughs> and i was still like <laughs> and it take took a long time and it was like um, the whole process was torture 
and I was so happy when um, I came home. And, but this was a moment I really needed the painkillers and few other occasions, but that's it. And so, but of course, this makes it difficult as well because now, now I know from the adrenal research course the seminar that it's um, triggering your adrenals as well. So you have to really care, good care, uh, take good care of your adrenals because there are many other adrenalizing events as I knew from this, uh, from this seminar online course. And so this is really, really so important. You cannot emphasize uh, enough the importance of the adrenals to care of your adrenals in the beginning and uh, all along your healing journey. Yeah, that's something I learned the hard way too. The hard way. <laughs> <laughs> but that, that's the good thing is that now we, we know and we can uh, tell people and so that's why finally i'm uh, grateful for every experience that i had because like when um the famous question comes um would you do something different in the end um yeah. after you know it then um i would say to some degree yes but to another degree um i'm thankful as well because i learned so much out of my errors and now with help coach i can um i have the privilege to um, to have the knowledge and help people uh, things that I learned firsthand by experience, not only out of books, but because I experienced it myself. And so I can learn this. This would maybe be not a good idea. Um, I did not. Um, I did overwhelm myself, and so maybe now you have the advantage to learn from me and uh, do it uh, slower and with more care and in much more uh, uh, accordance you say or in uh, aligned with your body and yeah with your much body. more compassion for your body yeah compassion exactly that's so important <laughs> self-compassion <laughs> yeah and then i forgot another point um canker sores i had canker sores like all many the time and you too yeah and so and a, i think a lot of people get them and in the yeah. past, I didn't even know what is this. Exactly. How is that called? And, and that's what, what exactly bothered me the most, psychologically and mentally, to not know where the things are coming from. With my diagnosis, my doctor was so honest um, from the very first day. He said, like, this is like, um, we think that it is, but we don't know it yet. And this is a theory. and." Um, he never gave me the feeling that uh, they know it all, just vice versa. And so I was also so grateful for to having this uh, this doctor, and also my um, my doctor at home, the principal doctor, or how do you say, family doctor. He was so compassionate with me as well. And uh, so these main doctors, I had the the luck that they helped me psychologically and mentally so much to handle this uh, situation in an educated way and finally i would say for for some degree this was why i found finally medical medium as well because i had also like a seed in my head ebv has something to do with it <laughs> yeah like with almost every symptom and condition yeah and the canker cells were bothering me like all the healing journey before um, and uh, especially during and sometimes i had three uh, canker sores um, at the same time imaging so much pain so um torturing i could nearly not eat anything because uh, in every angle there was a canker yeah. sore and until they disappeared it took always like weeks and uh, with medical medium um i learned that uh, going high lysine high in lysine and lysine amino acid um, this fighting um, the shingles virus and besides vitamin C and other a lot of other stuffs and so I went high um, lysine and um, I orientated myself um, from the do to, uh, dosages which medical medium gave us in the liver rescue book which was a, which is a good reference point mm -hmm. but 
um, then I found out this is like, uh, of course, averages for everybody. This is, cannot be like the exact dosage which every person needs. Some people need less, some people need more. And so I learned that I need to go over these given data in this book even and a lot. And I ended up finally taking like double amount that he gave there of lysine until the king saw it disappeared. And um, I just upped it one pill at a time, another pill, another pill, until it finally disappeared. And then I knew this is the right dosage for me. <laughs> and uh, yeah, this is some months ago, not so long ago, like when the pain disappeared a little bit before, after, I don't remember exactly. And never again, um, the canker sores appeared. So did you get them like every few weeks? Because for me, it was always like one month I get them, then they take a long time to heal, but then mm -hmm. they also take a long time to reoccur. Oh, okay. Yeah. No, I had it like, yeah, it was like having it for one month, then one month pause, maybe two, but then it reoccurred. And it was, and sometimes one disappeared and then directly uh, two others came. Oh. <laughs> and so, It was like permanent, nearly permanently during uh, my healing journey. And uh, of course, with the diagnosis, it exploded because it's like a common uh, cofactor from EBV. You have shingles. Also, I had um, strep, I knew. Um, I had like sinusitis as a child a lot of times. And um, so later on with medical medium, I learned the strep has to do with it and um, so luckily before medical medium i found out that uh, zinc and vitamin c are very crucial so years before medical medium i did not um, get so many flus or colds and before i had like flus and colds all the time but now i knew because already my immune system was weakened and so um a lot of things also from the things that i did right and from the things that i did wrong with medical medium i got like the confer confirmation what was right and i did right worked and what did not work with medical medium i found out uh, the why why it did not work <laughs> yeah same for me yeah i and i sometimes think i have a very good intuition because also when all of the confusion about lentils and chickpeas came up in the community i already knew that they are hard to digest because i tried it myself and i have a very exactly. sensitive digestion exactly when that came up i already knew that it's not really good it's not bad because it doesn't feed anything yeah. but for my digestion is it wasn't good so i avoided it same with me it's, it's amazing how many parallels we have yeah um, Because in the beginning, I still ate like lentils um, from time to time, and I loved them. And uh, then after a time, I was more aware, conscious, got more conscious of how I feel after eating them. And I got, I noticed I got tired. It took me more time to um, like recover from the meals, how to say, because yeah. I just got like tired. And then I noticed when I don't have them, I don't have this. This is the lentils. And um, when I find out that um, it's not like the perfect food, it's not exactly like you said, it's not damaging or um, counter counterproductive directly, but indirectly maybe it's not not so good like the Holy Four, food from the Holy Four. And that's how I, cons um, how do you say? Um, you put your focus on? How I blend, how I blend my uh, whole healing journey. And I, from the very first moment when I had got the books and I did not make like a plan in written or paper, but in my mind. And I, I had directly the feeling I want to uh, incorporate as much um, food from the healing four as possible. And so uh, for this, you have the medical food book. And as well, you have, um, for my diagnosis, MS. I had like a list in which medical medium gives in the first book, the blue book, um, for of useful supplements, of useful food, which he also says you should wrote or at least in two weeks you should eat um, 
most or all of the foods given in this list. So I printed out this list, hang it up and made like a plan what I can have at the dinner, at breakfast, at lunchtime, so that most of these foods are covered on a nearly on a daily basis or at least like he said every two weeks to have at least once these foods and um, also with the, I, I um, went slow with the happy metal detox smoothie I incorporated later because I got the feeling that it's very strong and when I started I started like with a quarter of a teaspoon with the body grass juice powder spirulina and um, the dolls then up this slowly i needed i think i needed like a quarter no three quarters of a year until i got the full dosages of the heavy metal detox smoothie and one have to be aware that there are two dosages given um the higher doses in the blue book which is like double the amount of the the amount of the recipe of the heavy metal detox smoothie in the, in the green book which like maybe medical medium got aware that people are overdoing it and having too much de detox reactions. And then in his third book, he lowered it to one teaspoon uh, barley grass juice powder, one teaspoon of, um, um, of spirulina and uh, one a tablespoon of dulls. And then the first book is like the double and I was aiming to the recipe of the first book. So... Yeah. I took I took my time for this. And this was good, and also I threw some little things out later. Like I was scanning my whole um, spices, all my spices for because I read that even traces of no foods are no good, and then yeah. I found out that nearly all my spices have like traces of gluten and uh, don't know what. So I threw out everything and bought new spices. <laughs> And this all was organic and clean spices yeah this was a lot later when i started and so there was changes like permanent changes all the time i i did not everything perfect from the very first beginning and i did not knew as well and so if you found find out later and then you get also like the capacity to do more things when you're ready to do more then do more and the important thing is to not overwhelm you and do it um, in accordance which um, which your capacity is at the moment and what you can do and to not overwhelm you absolutely that's uh, just stressing the adrenals and not beneficial exactly exactly but i also understand that people get overwhelmed because of all of the books that are out now and which one should yeah. i read first and yeah where should I take a look? Yeah, I don't remember. I think two books were out. When I started, two books were out. And um, I could catch up uh, quite quickly. And then uh, I did not even fin have finished the second one. And then the third one came out. But I could uh, catch up. <laughs> <laughs> and now, if I imagine now starting with the six books out, wow. Yeah, um, me too. And the radio shows and the lives and everything yeah. he's putting out in, in addition to that. Yeah, and that's, and that's where a practitioner, the help of a practitioner comes in because um, we have like experience and um, read, um, read a lot of stuff and seen a lot of stuff and experienced a lot of stuff. And so this can really be very um, beneficial for people who want to start right away and want orientation and want to have it like tailor-made to their needs because one thing is because it, it covers in the books it covers all the diseases all the stuff and some people are don't have the patient and, and say i just want to know what's relevant for me <laughs> <laughs> that can be difficult in the beginning yes and even with the first book i already was like there are so many supplements should i get right. all of them <laughs> Right. Yeah, this was a huge topic for me as well. And um, luckily as well in this area, I took it slow. I just concentrated on like the basic four or the, the antivirals, which are most important, of course, B12, which helps your liver and the detox process in total in general. And then vitamin C, um, lysine and zinc. 
And so for a lot of time, um, I was just taking these supplements and focusing on upping them. Another great advice um, which I got was to um, just up one supplement at a time. Start slow always with everything, like with one capsule or some drops or half a dropper or one dropper, depending on your sensibility, depending on the supplement. And then work it up slowly, building it up from there. And so I had a good start with this, and then I um, incorporated more stuff, uh, more stuff from the list for MS and EBV in general. It's like the list for MS is like a specialty, and uh, EBV is in general. And of course, you can incorporate as well some from the EBV list, but you should focus if you have the same diagnosis as me. You should like. Um, focus especially on the list which is given there for the MS diagnosis um, yeah the, the steps like I think was like adrenal uh, snacks regularly then building up slowly the, the supplements the heavy metal detox smoothie building up slowly and um, I was low fat I was no fat from the beginning as you know <laughs> like I started one month but then I immediately knew I have to incorporate now some uh, some healthy fats and um, I was focusing on cashew nuts, avocado, um, coconut oil and these stuff lentils uh, as well had, have some fat and uh, some chickpeas I did have in the beginning as well but not so much and um, I went very well with this um, approach and then when I got fat free as well and so I upped my salary too slowly. I started with like 100, 200 milliliters, upped it uh, to three, four, 500, 600. Now I'm taking two times salary juice, wow. one in the evening, um, in the noon or evening. Um, and it's like, because I knew I have a lot of hair metals and to help my body to get it out, I, um, I incorporated this juice that he recommends uh, for getting out the heavy metals faster, which is celery juice mixed with apple and uh, cilantro. Not um, like to substitute the other one. It's you just can have it when you have your normal celery juice in the morning, which is pure. And then the second one or another celery juice can be like the mixed one. And that's how I'm doing it. And I currently I'm doing two times 700 milliliters in the morning, 700 milliliters pure. And then later in the day, I'm having uh, the combination with the cilantro and um, the apples to help my heavy metals get out. Um, and even I was looking to incorporate three bunches of cilantro, which is helping us uh, get out the metals. And I'm putting in one in my... Um, in my thyroid healing um, uh, smoothie, which is an option in the book, and I thought perfect. And then I have a third one in my, um, and of course the first one in the heavy metal detox smoothie in the morning. And so I think this is quite um, quite a good system to to help to get the metals out further. And speaking of the of the thyroid healing uh, smoothie, um, this was. Um, a huge emphasis as well. Like I focused on the 90 day cleanse from the thyroid healing book because it's basically how to approach EBV and knowing that multiple sclerosis EBV. So, and this helped me a lot to get a structure in my, in my day. And I know I have like, um, in the afternoon, I have my celery juice after two hours, no eating of the lunch. And I have my celery juice with apple and cilantro, which is the thyroid healing juice. Then I have the, have the thyroid healing smoothie, which has a lot of mango, which is good for your nervous system. And a lot of other stuff, which is like a mix of greens and fruits. So it's like basically another original snack. And then um, I have my soup, my healing broth uh, in the afternoon as well. And, um, what else am I missing? A lemon water, not a second lemon water in the afternoon and I have it in lunch with lunch. Another lemon water, I have ginger water during the day, sipping ginger water. 
uh, which is good for filing EBV. And then I have, um, which, what is missing? Uh, aloe water, which is very important. I consider it very important to clean out the gut and to get out the toxins at night, which is like um, the last um, thing I consume before going to bed. It's um, best on an empty stomach. And as well, you should not have uh, no glucose so, uh, so far or far away from going to bed. So um, just having like two dates. And these dates are, you don't have to be um, with an empty stomach like an hour or half an hour, even I think like 10, 15 minutes is sufficient to get rid of, uh, to, to get, digest these dates. And you can have your aloe water. And then you, I go to bed like half an hour later, just going to bathroom one time, give it space, and that's it. And this is like, this was my, my routine from, from the beginning. Well, very good routine. You sure did plan out everything to the top. <laughs> <laughs> and it helped you so much. Yeah, that, that I, was, I was so lucky that, to know the things that I can do, the root causes, which, um, uh, and so I also, at one point I forgot, I, I was also focusing on drinking a lot. And then after some time I got aware that it should be living water, like putting lemon in it or honey, not just pure water. And so I was developing my, my system step by step. And, but before already I was drinking like six or seven liters of pure water before medical medium. Wow. So I had not have so many problems drinking so much because many people have problems drinking the amounts required, but it's, it's a process. That's another important um, uh, word for the beginners. Like keep in mind that it's process. You don't have to do everything perfect at the beginning. You're developing it. Um, in accordance with your capacities or capabilities and you're getting better it's getting easier step by step yeah learning with everything that they do yeah well thank you so much for sharing all of your knowledge it's a pleasure it's a pleasure it's like it got a, a passion i think you can feel that Absolutely. It's a passion for me and so this is what makes me happy. And so now, now with medical medium, I did not only find like how to get my life back. I'm on my way still, of course. But um, the most important gift or um, present that medical medium gave me, I feel, and Munisa as well, is like um, that I found my, my passion as well. And Annika piece, which I uh, will not forget, to mention and Benjamin Peace from the German community of Freihoch 3. Um, all these uh, three or four people <laughs> they gave me like the hugest present that there is like the possibility and you too here with this uh, the possibility to live my life. I feel that this is my life purpose and this is like the hugest uh, gift that somebody can give you and with occasions like here I have the space to to live it. Yeah, and to express it. To express it. So thank you very much to, to you as well. <laughs> You're very welcome. I'm so honored to have you. I was honored as well for being here. I'm always happy to learn something new from others as well. That's, that's the most amazing thing in our community. And that's, I think, is another uh, important thing for beginners to look out, reach out for help, for community that you feel you're not alone on this journey and this can help you so much. Yeah, and it also helps to stay motivated. Exactly, exactly. Because when you're comparing yourself to the people out there which are eating the no foods and of course the changes are radical in the beginning and, and not so easy maybe. And so there, there's where the help of the community can come in and help you a lot. Yes. I totally agree. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you again for joining in. And then thank you. say goodbye to our viewers. Yes. And yeah, we see them soon. Bye. See you. Bye.